There are so many types of cameras these days. I mean, there's one in your car, two in your phone. Each of your doors even has one. Well, now there's a front end camera that has an appeal to hang out near the snout of a seal. Here's Allie Ward to explain. If you're anything like me, the ocean captivates your imagination. Thanks to the years-long research of scientists like Taiki Adachi at the University of California, Santa Cruz, here's a glimpse of something happening way beneath the water's surface. What you're seeing is the point of view of female elephant seals as they hunt for their prey. I met Taiki at California's Año Nuevo State Park, where he and his colleagues conducted their research, which was published in a groundbreaking paper in 2021. How do you describe the work that you do with seals? I'm studying the underwater behavior of elephant seals, especially foraging behavior, how they eat and what they eat. So elephant seals are giant, so they're obviously foraging, they're eating a lot, and you're studying what they're eating and how? Yes, we found that they mainly feed on very tiny fish, mm -hmm. around 400 to 600 meter. That's deep. This is very exciting because we actually didn't know that elephant seals forage such a tiny fish, mm -hmm. but we found that with the camera. The elephant seal research was led by Professor Daniel Costa at UC Santa Cruz, and Taiki has been collaborating with him since 2010. How big is the camera? Because this is a giant animal. I have one. Ah! We attached it on the cheek of the seal right here. Wow. Does the light flash as it's taking pictures or video? Yes, the important thing is the flash is infrared, so the flash doesn't affect their behavior. The team of researchers attached cameras to the fur of the seals using an epoxy. Later, that epoxy is naturally removed when the seals shed their fur. Yes, the trace pops off, but actually we recover the tag before molting. Since the camera battery lasts only four hours, but the seals are away from shore for months, Taiki and his team had to set very specific trigger points to activate recording, including migration distance, depth, and duration. Then they waited about two months for the seals to return and to ultimately discover this. So you can tell with this video that these bioluminescent prey flash blue light and that's when they go in and, and eat them. Yes. We walked on a bit further to get to the closest vantage point. So here they are. Yes. Does it feel like you're seeing old friends again? Yes, and then I think I'm back. <laughs> you're back. Is this where you do some of your tagging? Yes, along this beach. What do their whiskers look like? So whiskers, ah. it is a whisker and it is very stiff. You can touch it. Oh, it's like a bristle. Yes. Do the seals know that they're in your paper? Have you told them? Uh, no, we, <laughs> I have to tell them. You gotta tell them. So you guys, your whiskers are famous. 